Well, it is a lovely, crisp autumn day here in New Hampshire's Great North Woods. And I'm exploring along a trail that follows the Connecticut River. And I'm only about maybe five or 10 minutes by car from the Canadian border. So it's pretty far north, which is why it's called the Great North Woods, of course. And I actually just got my uh, fall workshop finished up here this past weekend. So today I'm exploring on my own and uh, enjoying the uh, nice weather. Well, I say nice. It's nice for photography. It's actually kind of gray and overcast, but I really like that on fall days because it brings out the color. So hopefully I'll find some good scenes along the river here. I think that there's a waterfall or two along the way, so we'll see what I find. But uh, excited to bring you guys along with me and hope you'll enjoy exploring with me here in New Hampshire's Great North Woods. I've been driving through uh, Dixville Notch State Park now and uh, I'm stopped here at a spot that should have a couple of waterfalls. They're actually really easy to access and I can actually already hear the water in the distance. Now here in the actual woods things are pretty green below but in the Notch area on top there's lots of good color going on so I'm uh, hopeful I'll get some good pictures down here by the waterfalls and the uh, cascades and all so hopefully I'll find something better than I did down at the Connecticut River. Well I didn't have to walk very far to find uh, some nice little cascades here and uh, I'm shooting I got my tripod in the water and I have a uh, Lee landscape polarizer and I think it's a four stop uh, ND filter on and uh, I actually have a 10 stop ND filter but I don't really like doing, at least with situations like this, I don't like doing really long exposures because I feel like if the water gets too smooth it almost looks a little bit, I don't know, weird, it just doesn't look right. So I like to have a kind of short long exposure, if that makes sense. That kind of seems contradictory, but I just mean instead of doing like two, three, four minutes, I want to do something like maybe, I don't know, one second or two seconds because this water is flowing pretty fast. And so when I do that, you're going to see the flow, but you're also going to get some detail uh, in the water. And so I like that combination a lot. So I'm trying that out here and hopefully that'll work out well. Well, I made my way up this uh, steep path behind me, but unfortunately, while there was a really nice waterfall, a kind of cascade, there wasn't really much color there. So uh, I decided rather than trying to shoot it, I'm just gonna head on because I really want to, uh... sorry, I gotta watch my step here. It's pretty slippery and very steep still. Um, but uh, I'm hoping I can make it to the White Mountains before the light runs out. So we'll see what happens there. I'm not really uh, all that hopeful that I'll make it in time. Whoa, slipping a bit there. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm gonna try. And I might even stop here in uh, the Notch. I'm still in Dixville Notch State Park. So I might stop along the roadside because there's some nice colors along the way in here. So we'll see what I can find as I make my way out of the North Woods and uh, a little bit further south.
This is a spot that I came during the workshop, um, but I was very busy with the participants, of course, so I didn't really get to shoot it for myself. So I thought I'd come back here and check it out. It's called the Balsams, and it's an old uh, defunct hotel. It actually looks in pretty good condition, but uh, it's not being used right now, I'm pretty sure. So uh, I'm going to try to shoot this now. It's actually not in Dixville Notch State Park. Uh, it's just outside of the actual state park itself, but the area is really beautiful and I think will make for, uh, really I'm going to try a, a panorama, which is what we did. I, we tried to work on that some here, so I'm going to try one for myself and I think that's going to work out pretty well. Well, I think with that, I'm going to call it a day. Um, I've got a pretty good drive to get back to where I'm staying for tonight, and I'm going to try to get up tomorrow and head to the White Mountains, check out the color around there. So, uh, yeah, I'll call it a day. I think I got some good shots. But thank you guys for coming along with me, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos in the future. I'll see you next time, guys. But until then, stay safe and happy shooting.